If you've been around the reptile hobby or in those darn Facebook groups, no doubt you've seen or heard some horror stories about the way people keep their animals. Bad husbandry can deteriorate the health of your animal and even result in death. The good news is reptiles are super resilient creatures and they have all kinds of systems in their body put in place to get them through almost anything. I'm Raph. I'm Rachel. This is Bubbles. And stick around with us here at Red Ribbon Reptiles for a little bit of story time. Southeast Asian box turtle or Asian box turtle or Malayan box turtle a lot of different names that these guys go by but um, the scientific name is Kuora amboinensis so now I sound smart um, I think the subspecies is Lineata but if anyone knows anything about these guys let me know because I'm not exactly 100% positive but care for them is all pretty similar the previous owner told us that he's around 73 years old which is pretty impressive, uh, especially considering the conditions that he was in. This isn't us calling anyone out, but he was kept on dry substrate for probably the last 20 years or so, sounds like. Um, and he was also housed with two eastern box turtles and two redfoot tortoises. The issue with that being that Asian box turtles, unlike eastern box turtles, are semi-aquatic. So they really need water, but he was kept with an indoor pond and there was there's also like a stream that runs water into it. The issue is they're more of a swamp turtle, these guys, so they like shallow, still water, and they're not great swimmers, even though they like water, so they'd rather just kind of wade in water about this deep so that they can still breathe, move around easily, but still get uh, the hydration that they need. Also, these turtles are definitely omnivores, and they need about a, roughly a 50-50 split uh, protein to vegetation, and he was probably getting close to, if he was getting 10% protein in his diet, um, I'd kind of be surprised. He was eating mostly plants all the time. And that's when he would eat, because the first few times I saw him, he couldn't move. He was really even more shriveled looking than he is now, and that's saying something. He also couldn't open his eyes until I offered the idea to give him a soak. And once he got in the water, I mean, you see him now. On land, he would not move, couldn't walk. But right now, he's probably just mad at us because he knows that there are worms <laughs> next to him and we're going to feed him in a minute for you guys. So we're saying he, um, I'm not 100% positive on the gender, but his plastron, or the bottom part of the shell, the belly part of the shell, is, it does have a slight curve, which turtles, male turtles will have that to make mounting and copulation easier. Um, and his cloaca, or vent, or poop and pee hole, whatever you want to call it, is pretty close to the tip of that tail. And the tail's kind of thick, so that's where I'm getting mail from. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't think he really cares, so it's okay. Due to these less than ideal conditions, Bubbles came to us with a whole slew of issues. One being that he was dehydrated and he needed lots of water and he needed it fast. Um, once he got in the water, the, his issues with his eyes, not being able to open his eyes, those kind of went away, cracked them open, um, and it looked like he, he could see all over again. Also, his legs were super skinny. Like, they were just a couple little twigs coming out of this bowling ball that is Bubbles. And uh, he was having a really hard time getting around on him. Another reason that he was having a hard time getting around is that he's missing one of his back feet. Um, I don't know how it happened. Uh, like I said, he was kept with a couple tortoises, and tortoises can be pretty territorial, especially because... 
Bubbles couldn't really defend himself, especially on land, and he's much smaller than the tortoises were. So it's very possible that one of those tortoises nipped that little foot right off. You see that nub? Yeah, it's a power nub now. He does well with it. Another issue that I think was due to lack of proper nutrition and lack of UVB lighting is that his shell was kind of peeling. A lot of it was kind of just cracking off and peeling off. But I think calcium supplements and vitamin supplements and the UV light has reversed that because he's not really peeling anymore. And another issue I think that was caused by the dehydration is that he has these wounds. Uh, it kind of looks like his mouth cracked open too much. And I really think it was just that he was too dry and his skin kind of dried out and he's trying to eat his own bubbles <laughs> that he's making. Oh, oh. Yeah, he got one. <laughs> And I think his mouth being so dry could have led to some mouth rot and one side looked like it was pretty badly infected too when we got him in our care. And finally, his beak was definitely overgrown. So he had a really hard time eating at first, um, but we've been able to get him to kind of chip away at his own beak with some cuddle bone, much like birds do. So since we've got Bubbles, we've been keeping him in a tub with paper towel to keep his wound clean while he heals. To keep him hydrated, we soak him for at least a couple hours a day and he definitely loves it. We also give him a more balanced diet and a few of his favorite things are fish, earthworms, and he really loves mushrooms and peppers. He also likes to make a mess with his salad and just push the endive around anything green pretty much and he goes straight for peppers, mushrooms, and radicchio. So we have been treating Bubbles wounds with an antiseptic from the vet and it has been helping him a lot. Swelling's going down a lot, yep. We plan to move him into a bigger tub with like a pond area and a basking spot so he can go in and out of the water as his little heart desires. Now we're gonna show off how good Bubbles eats and how much he loves his food. To call this a sad story with a happy ending because by the looks of it this guy's story is really just starting we invite you guys to follow along with his journey here his journey back to health and he's still eating bubbles and <laughs> we're definitely gonna do a video when we upgrade him to a bigger better enclosure uh, which is coming in the near future um, if you want to see that other reptile content us our scaly children or shelled children, <laughs> um, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time.